All we'll do is turn off preview mode so we can see all of our guides and margins. Let's just scroll over here a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is generate a large text frame which can contain our table. So come up to the type tool, position the cursor on the 20 millimeter guide down here on the top of the page and also where the five millimeter bleed line starts outside of the document. And let's click and drag to draw a frame that bleeds across into the right hand page just a little bit to give us enough room to play with. And then let's bring its height down so it goes just beyond the line that we see at the bottom of the page. So we have this new text frame filling up this entire area. The next thing we're going to do is just generate a few rows and columns to begin with by going up to the table menu, saying insert table. And this time we're going to give ourselves three rows and three columns. Go ahead and say OK, and just like before, you'll notice that the table is always created to the width of the text frame. So it's perfectly aligned to the 5mm bleed on this side, but over on this side, it's actually cutting into the right-hand page. That's no problem at all. All we have to do is grab the right-hand edge of one of those rows and drag it, and you'll see it snap quite happily onto the margin of the document. So that's very easy to update. Now what we're going to do is mess around with some of these cells and divide them, merge them, join them, reposition them, and create a table that is just not very regimented at all. What we'll do first is just scroll down a little way, we're going to take the bottom line that we see here on the table and drag it down about two thirds of the way down the page just to give ourselves a bit of room to play with. And let's say we want to distribute now the space between each of these rows so the lines move down and align automatically. That's a feature we haven't seen yet. Let's come up to the upper left hand side of the table, get our diagonal arrow and again click to select everything inside the table. Come up here to the table menu and you'll see a command down there that says distribute the rows evenly. We choose that and they now reformat to give us exactly the same size cell all the way down. 